I don't have a huge amount of the body sprays from Lush. Um, it's not because I don't like them, it's because generally speaking I don't need 100ml of anything and I'm not, I, I much prefer perfumes to body sprays. However, there are some exceptions to that rule. Um, I do quite like smelling the new ones when they come out, but there's a couple of absolute classics. And so I'm starting with Twilight. Twilight I actually think is the best body spray that Lush make. It's not one that I actually wear on myself because this is a very strong lavender scent and it has a really beautiful natural lavender essential oil kind of smell to it. So the body sprays all come in these bottles, they're 200 ml, they range in prices. Twilight is, I think, let me just check, yes, it's 25 pounds. So I have to say, I do think that the um, body sprays from Lush have been slightly watered down a little bit um, because my previous bottle of Twilight, I could smell it if I sprayed it on my bed sheets, which is how I use this one. Um, I could smell it for like at least two days and now I can just about smell it in the morning if I spray it on the night before, but I think it's definitely not as strong as it used to be. However, it is absolutely delicious. So you can see here it says Tonka Lavender Ylang Ylang. It's also um, got benzoin in it. So there is a beautiful kind of warmth and comforting vibe to this. Definitely the lavender is the dominant essential oil and it is very natural smelling. But then it dries down and the Tonka is so sweet and creamy. It is absolutely delicious. This is my third bottle at least of Twilight. Um, I get through them quicker than any other scent that I have. But that is because I love the smell of this in my room. So I spray it everywhere other than me. Um, <laughs> I think it's just because the lavender is quite... Um, firstly, it's very calming. And I do like lavender and perfumes. But I think to this extent... I think if I tried to wear this to work, I'd probably just fall asleep because <laughs> it is so relaxing. Um, and I just generally like the vibe of it in my bedroom and on my sheets and on my pillows. So I don't necessarily want to wear it on myself. And like I said, the essential oils, the lavender is, is very, it really, it really does smell a little bit like you would have put some essential oil on you at first. But I do still love it. And I do sometimes want to wear it, but then... I don't know, I, maybe it's just because I've got so used to it being on my sheets that that's how I prefer it. But I think probably some people do wear this, but I know, and people in Lush have, who work at Lush have told me, this is very popular for putting on your sheets. <laughs> so I absolutely love it. I think it's the best um, scent that they do, just generally. I've never come across a perfume that's as good as this one. Um, I would say if you're comparing it to something that may be slightly more wearable, the one that I like and the one that I wear is uh, Vera Wang and it's lavender and tuberose. Now that one is slightly more floral, but it has a very sweet dry down and it has a really gentle, nice lavender. It's really easy to wear. That one smells quite a lot like a uh, replica coffee break um but coffee break has coffee in it and the vera wang embrace one that has cocoa in it um they're both absolutely delicious and the other one i can't wear it myself because it has that kind of what i think is musk that goes a bit like tar like on my skin it smells a bit like creosote or something but if you don't get that so if you can wear zara or latar for perfume for instance if you can wear montal perfumes then um REM by Ariana Grande is one of the closest things I've smelt to this in terms of the sweetness and the strength of the lavender but this is the strongest lavender absolutely and it is fabulous so yeah I absolutely love Twilight they'll never be without that I will always repurchase it every time I run out then I also have the big bottle of Snow Fairy because this is the one that I got last year so snow fairy comes out every christmas they don't sell it throughout the year but again it's 200 ml so unless you wear this every single day the chances are it's going to last you until it comes out again you know now snow fairy is very pink smelling it's not very natural smelling i don't think it's the most chemically of all the body sprays the body sprays are definitely the most chemical and synthetic smelling of their perfumes because 
Their normal range is generally quite natural smelling, quite kind of essential oily again, and even more so with their black label perfumes, their perfume library perfumes, the more expensive ones. You can tell that they're from Lush, you can tell that they're quite natural. By the time you get to the body sprays, they're not with the exception of twilight to be honest they're not really smelling quite so natural anymore they're smelling a bit more synthetic a bit more kind of almost like a scada perfumes but they still have that just kind of hint of lush going on you know so snow fairy it's it's like a confectionery so it's like candy floss bubble gum pear drops it really reminds me if you're british you might know what i'm talking about of pink foam shrimp sweets you know you get like the foam bananas and then you get the pink foam shrimps um they're in only in the shape of shrimps for anyone who's not from the uk and doesn't know what i'm talking about they're not actually like fishy in any shape anyway shape or form they're some kind of slightly berry-ish like very sweet foamy candy that's got a slight crunch on the outside it's really hard to explain what the hell they are because i don't know if there's any equivalent in other countries but um it's kind of synthetic in the same way that jelly sweets and bubble gum are synthetic so it's really sweet it's got a candy vibe it has um actual pear in it so it does have pear and it does have candy floss and it's it's you can really when you know the pear is there you can really smell it um it's really pretty i can smell it for like about five hours on my skin it lasts even longer on clothes this is another one that's actually really nice as a room spray um i it does come out at christmas but i'm not sure it's like a particularly wintry scent if that makes any sense so the other thing that i do with these because i don't I don't really like these bottles very much. I don't find them particularly attractive. They take up a lot of space. So what I tend to do, and also the, the spray, the sprayer, if you're using them in your room, is amazing. If you want it all over your clothes, all over your hair, all over your body, absolutely amazing. Huge sprays. But if you're just wearing it like a perfume, then it's a bit overwhelming how much it sprays. It kind of goes everywhere. So I tend to for my ease and also when I'm running low or if I don't think I need the whole bottle and I want to like give the rest to someone else I put them in I decant these because these unscrew they're really good this flips up so you can spray it flips back down but this bit unscrews so what you do have the choice of doing if you so wish is literally just decanting some into your own bottle these bottles are from Shein. they're really nice and cheap and easy again they have screw tops so you can just um, unscrew this top bit pour it in and then hey presto you've got an actual perfume bottle of it so this is my little decant of this snow fairy and then of course when this is gone as well I, I, this is one that's much easier to store also easier to take with me places if i so wish so the one that's out at the moment i did buy it and then i took a decant and then i gave the rest of it away because i'm never going to use 200 ml of the mario brothers tie-in called lush princess princess peach so princess peach they've got as a limited edition they've got a whole super mario brothers range that's like in the collaboration with the film that's just come out so princess peach is it's very it's very candy like again again it's not a very natural smell compared to like the lush perfumes generally but it's really joyous. You can see I only took a small decant because I wasn't ever going to get through loads of this. Although it's another one that honestly on fabric, it lasted for days. When I decanted this, it lasted for days. I could smell this in my room for days. So it's, uh, let's see what's in it. Orange, champaca, which is like a citrusy for floral, olibanum, and something called Litsi cubea, which is apparently a sweet and citrusy berry. Um, so this is a very peachy and pineapple scent. That's what they describe it as. It's really sherbety, it's sweet and tangy. I think it's quite childish, but in like the best possible way, in that it smells like sherbety candy. Um, so I personally get a watermelon candy vibe from this one for some reason. Like I think I think it could be a little bit cloying for some people because it's actually quite strong. It's very sherbety. It lasts for quite a while, as I said. Um, again, if you're British, 
smells a bit like Barrett's fruit salad chews <laughs> if you know what those are and those are actually raspberry and pineapple flavored like tangy chewy sweets um so that's what princess peach is like and I, I think it's a really it's a really nice one if you like really sweet sherbetty fruity kind of super girly escada style perfumes like you know their escada like summer specials you know that they release a different one every year if you like those then I think you would love Princess Peach and you're going to get, it. it's like, it's £30. The limited edition ones do tend to be more expensive. So the limited edition Princess Peach is 30 I think the one they had recently was Lazy Oaf, which is gone now, um, which I, I didn't like. I thought it smelled like cigarette smoke. Um, that one I think was 35 So they do, they do kind of move around. Snow Fairy, I can't remember if that one is 25 or 30 um, I imagine when it comes back, you know, in this economy, because of inflation, it will probably be £30. But Princess Peach is 30 And then the other one that I have a decant of, because I got through, I got through enough of it to kind of get rid um, of the actual bottle. I've got the Comforter. So the Comforter is a amazing ribenery blackcurrant scent it's like if you if again like there's such british smells in a way in a weird way it smells like ribena spark now i'm i'm early 40s um when i was younger when i was literally a kid ribena spark was my favorite thing in the world it was it was called Ribena, which is a, a very British brand that makes a blackcurrant cordial style squash. If you know what that is, you know, the syrup that you mix with water for a drink. And it's just a beautiful, perfect, lovely blackcurrant. Or it used, at least it used to be until they started using sweetener rather than actual sugar. Um, my generation has a mouthful of fillings to prove that we didn't have sweetener back in the day. Um, but... Ribena Spark had a slightly different flavour. It was more candy-ish. Um, it's not even that it was like so much sweeter. It was just, oh my God, I just can't even describe the fabulousness of that particular beverage. Um, it came in a purple can. It was just scrumptious. They don't make it anymore, very sadly. But the Comforter smells exactly like Ribena Spark when you first spray it. Um, it's it's got cassis bergamot and cypress in it but generally speaking it's just an explosion of blackcurrant <laughs> i think that when it dries down though it's got it's got a scent to it that i don't understand where it's coming from from the notes so i don't know whether it's in like an actual synthetic perfume rather than one of the natural compounds that are listed it starts to smell like vanilla to me when it dries down. It's like it's this ex huge explosion of beautiful, syrupy, candy-like blackcurrant. Juicy, bright, fresh. Uh, again, really sherbety. And then the longer you have it on, the more it dries down and gets kind of sweeter, a bit creamier, and has like what I think smells like a bit of a vanilla base. So the comforter isn't my favourite in terms of just the way it dries down. But if you've smelt this and you really like the black currant in it, but you don't like the dry down, try um, their perfume called Junk. That has a very similar kind of black y smell, but it has like rosemary and other herbs that give it a slightly, you could say medicinal, but I just think of it as kind of herbal. It's almost slightly minty kind of vibe with it, but the general dry down is pretty much the comforter without the sweet base. So I love that one. But I mean, I've got through a lot of the comforter because again, these are really good for like room sprays and bedding sprays and it's really, really nice. So I can just give you a quick rundown of some of the other ones that I've tested and I've worn, but I don't actually have. Um, so if we start with Dirty, Dirty you can get as a, a perfume and, and the body spray. So it's mint, sandalwood, lavender, tarragon, neroli, tonka and oak moss. I really love Dirty. I think it's really fresh, really clean, sweet and beautiful. Um, I'd have it if it wasn't for the fact that I already have uh, white mint and lychee from the 4711 Aqua Colonia range. Um, and that has like a really similar mint note. It's the same kind of experience to wear it. That one comes in a beautiful bottle and it fits really nicely in my cupboard. So 
To be honest, at some point I do feel like I'll probably try to get hold of a, a bottle of the perfume version of Dirty. I would say, though, that my personal feelings is that if you want it and you think you're going to wear it a lot and space isn't an issue, then the body spray pretty much performs. It smells almost exactly the same as the perfume. Um, very little difference that I can detect. And the actual perfume, it doesn't really last that long, to be honest. I, I've tried it a few times and it's really only been like a few hours that I can really smell it. I do love the way it dries down. At first, it's like a toothpastey mint and then it kind of chills out and you get more of the other aromatics in it. And it's got like, it's got Tonka in it again. So it's got like that lovely sweet base. Um, and, the, and I mean, Lush sandalwood is beautiful. I love their sandalwood. It's so creamy and like just so smooth and lovely. But yeah, so the the body spray is £25 for 200ml and the perfume is £25 for 30ml. So if it's one you want to wear a lot, because the performance of the perfume isn't great, it's totally worth just getting the body spray instead. You know you're going to get 200 mils of that and you can go ham with it and it's going to last you for ages in comparison. So, <clears throat> dirty is one I would like, <laughs> but I don't need it, you know. Then we've got Honey, I Wash the Kids. That one is 20. Oh, I forgot to mention that the comfort is 20 pounds, so it's one of their cheaper ones. But it actually, again, lasts quite well, um, lasts ages on clothes. And I think that actually all of their body sprays are pretty good in terms of longevity. They last pretty much the same length of time as a designer eau de toilette, you know. Honey, I Wash the Kids, that's also 20 pounds, so that's one of their other ones that's a bit cheaper. Um, that has bergamot, orange and geranial. Um, it's like, again, it's got a honey and toffee kind of smell to it. So that must be, as there's nothing in the notes, the essential oils or the compounds that match up with that, <clears throat> it must be a synthetic perfume note that they've got in there to make it smell like honey. Um, and I don't really like that kind of toffee honey smell with citruses. Um, I, I had the shower gel of this and I didn't really like that one either. This one just isn't for me. Um, but if you know what they're lush, they're called scrubbies. They're like, um, I don't know if they still make them. I haven't checked, but they used to make this kind of handheld uh, scrubber that's almost like a one of their massage bars but it has like little little bits in it to scrub your skin and it was in the shape of a little bee um that had a honey citrus and then white chocolate kind of smell to me and i always find that really sickly as well like kind of orange and white chocolate it just is too it's too sweet for me it just doesn't work for me um so i'm not keen on honey i wash the kids but i can see why other people like that one let the good times roll that's 25 pounds it is my most hated of all the lush perfumes and body sprays um generally speaking i can find something to like in most of the lush perfumes and body sprays but i hate let the good times roll um i can't find any recognizable natural lo notes listed there at all so i'm guessing that is entirely a synthetic perfume and it's kind of one that's a bit more fashionable because it has a popcorn note in it um, it's described as a buttery popcorn fragrance that's exactly what it is i cannot abide buttery notes i can't stand popcorn notes because I think it smells stale like kind of unwashed towels that's what I feel like that kind of thing smells like so it's no good for me if you like Sol de Janeiro boom boom cream <laughs> or the nutty body sprays that Sol de Janeiro make um, then you probably will like let the good times roll um, because it's in that same kind of vein of very sweet very buttery quite gourmand got that kind of nutty popcorny note it's just not for me it's not one that I enjoy um, then we've got dad's garden that one is 20 pounds as well so it's another one that's a bargain that is so they have a dad's garden perfume and that is chamomile and honeysuckle it's a completely different scent to the body spray dad's garden dad's garden is like a citrusy one so it's lime lemon bergamot lavender um it's it's an explosion 
are sharp citruses it's bright and zingy it will definitely wake you the hell up if you spray it in the morning i think it starts to smell a bit more like an actual garden when it dries down you get kind of more more florally leafy kind of smell but in the main it's just a really good very hardcore citrus perfume and i would probably have that one if i didn't already have the 4711 aqua colonia lemon and ginger which is my absolute favorite lemon perfume so yeah i mean i think that one's an absolute bargain and it's really good amazing that would be like if you just want a really fresh and bright citrus for like warmer weather then we have guardian of the forest so that one's 30 pounds and that is like it's cypress oak moss rosewood lime and tonka and if you want the scent of a christmas tree then that is the one for you guardian of the forest is the one for you it absolutely smells like a beautiful deep green piney forest um and i would never really need a whole bottle of it but i would really love a decamp for christmas to use as a room spray <laughs> I think that generally, like in a really traditional way, it does lean a bit more masculine because it's so piney and like really does smell like a forest, but it is also quite magical. And yeah, like I said, I would very happily spray that all over my house at Christmas. So it smells like Christmas trees. <laughs> I think it's great. Um, and then the last one I'll talk about that I actually know is Plum Rain. So that one's £30 as well. That's Osmanthus, Pettigrain and Mandarin. Um but randomly it smells like plum there isn't plum in it but there's something about the mandarin mixed with those other notes that just makes it smell fruity and plummy um i mean mandarin is a fruit but you know it, it <laughs> plum is a very different smell to mandarin so um i loved the shower gel of it um but the actual body spray doesn't really suit me um it just doesn't really feel me it feels doesn't feel like me you know um it's definitely fruity it's plummy um there's a bit of greenness that i'm not entirely keen on when it's actually in a body spray um but it does have a nice natural sweetness to it so it's probably another one that i'd really like to smell around my house but not necessarily on my skin um so those are all the ones that I have actually smelled on my skin. There are obviously way more body sprays than that, but they are they're either ones that I know that I that I don't like because I've smelt them and I just don't like them, or they're things that have notes in that I just don't like. You know, there's some things. I think there's one called Big, and I didn't really like Secura because I don't really like Jasmine. I don't really like Neroli very much, um, and Orange Blossom. So anything that's strong in any of those, anything that's strong in Patchouli, I'm just not really going to be into those perfumes. But yeah, um, I hope this was helpful for anyone who's been looking at the body sprays. I really do think that it's hard to go wrong with the lush body sprays i think they are they're definitely less kind of niche smelling they're less challenging than the lush perfumes they pr they don't really go through much of a transition with the exception of the comfort to getting much kind of sweeter in the base they pretty much smell how they're gonna smell like within at least the first few like couple of minutes um and again they're, they're actually a real bargain for how much you get I don't really like the sprayers um, apart from the ones that I want to use on my bedding because obviously that's just brilliant but I think they're really good value they're one of the best value things that Lush makes um, yeah I I cannot recommend Twilight enough for a bedding spray it's really relaxing if you are someone who finds it hard to fall asleep um, obviously not if you're someone who doesn't like to have like strong scents uh, anywhere near you when you're sleeping i don't like to have strong scents on my skin when i'm sleeping but my goodness i love twilight i love twilight in my bed it always helps me go to sleep really quickly it's so soothing it's just fabulous and if you really love the smell of twilight and you've never tried it before it smells like their sleepy range so you can get sleepy shower gel they've got like bubble bars now i think they've got a, a cream of it i don't really like the cream i don't think it smells the same as um twilight or sleepy but the sleepy shower gel is my absolute favorite lush shower gel it's a fabulous so i mean my goodness if you combine the two you'll be out like a light but again if you if you don't know what if you didn't know what twilight smells like but you know what sleepy smells like twilight smells like sleepy that's what it smells like that is my absolutely top pick of every both perfume and body spray from lush i think twilight is the base it's the best thing they do the greatest thing 